Hi everyone, it's Veg. Today I'm gonna do my mat my Lucina matter chart, uh, the patch 12.0 I think. So I'm gonna start to explain my uh, tier. So here we have the slight advantage state, uh, 45 55. So a slight advantage for Lucina. Matchup is hard, but it's doable. Um, after we have the uh, harder for Lucina, but kinda even. That means it's a matchup re re relatively even, but uh, the Lucina player need to work more than the other player. So he can feel uh, like uh, like a advantage, but it's not real advantage. It's more like the other player um, will more um, will more more uh, control the game. Like uh, Lucina will need to adapt and to play the game of her of her um, opponent. Even is even, you know, 50-50. Uh, easier for Lucina, but kind of even is. Uh, the opposite of uh, horror for Lucina, so it's easier for the Lucina player. We can more play our game, and uh, and the player in the opponent must uh, adapt and uh, counter our, uh, her in our gameplay. Uh, but it's relatively even. And after we have slight advantage, where Lucina, uh, it's uh, yeah we we kinda win the matchup and advantage. We really win the matchup and <laughs> big advantage. We destroy the matchup. <laughs> so. We can start with the first one, Benjo. So Benjo and Kazui is gonna be in slight advantage uh, because yeah, Benjo is a zoner, so he's gonna keep Lucina out. But uh, Benjo is not the best zoner first, and Lucina has a good mobility to just go uh, in the face of Benjo, and uh, she can play the mid range with her sword, uh, apply pressure. Uh, it's hard to edge guard. It, it's hard to edge guard Benjo Kazui. But uh, it's not. It's not a really. I. It. It. We win. We, we win. But it's not. It's not a hard matchup. Like it, we. Uh, the Lucina player just need to be more patient. I mean, just need to be patient. And it's gonna be okay. Like, if you don't uh, run into like random um, wing, uh, the golden wing, it's gonna be okay. But it's not a really hard matchup. Just. Just need patience and uh, good movement. Next one is Bayonetta. Bayonetta also slides a slight advantage. Uh, Bayonetta is really good to catch or jump and to and to and to combo. And uh, but in this match we we uh, if if Lucina play really grounded, it's very hard for Bayo to start her combo and to uh, anti hop, anti air. Um, and Lucina has more uh, and, uh, has a good kill power and just range. So he, he, if we play again uh, patiently and stay ground, it's really hard for Bayo to do something, and um, and yeah, like we still have a good kill power. Uh, Bayo is hard to kill, uh, especially if you if we stay grounded and we don't throw a uh, random hit box, because she can uh, um, watch time and uh, we can eat a up smash or a F smash. But again, patient and just stay grounded, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine against Bayo. Uh, next one is gonna be Bowser. Bowser also slides advantage, uh, not advantage because uh, my Bowser is fast. Uh, he's really big, so we can combo him, but he's really heavy, and so it's it's kind of hard to kill like at early. Uh, and also we, so we we can keep Bowser at his advantage. We can edge guard him really easy with scanner down air, back air, a lot of things. But uh, say Bowser is very heavy. Uh, he, he has a really good kill power, so he can kill Lucina very early. Uh, and if, also, the big thing is uh, um, Bowser is really good for uh, catch Lucina landing, uh, especially on, on the final destination. It's really hard to uh, to get down against Bowser because he has a good speed, he has a coming grab, he's fast. So yeah, Bowser can just um, um, can really uh, damage Lucina when she's in. She's in the advantage because Lucina don't have a good advantage, so yeah, that's why it's a uh, slight advantage. Bowser Junior, uh, I don't have a lot of fights against Bowser Junior, but I will say advantage because um, I mean, we again we we are trained. He's he, he's AV, but not as Bowser. We can edge guard. I mean, it's tough to edge guard, but we can like down air. Uh, two frame or draw down her up B, his up B. Um, 
I mean, his main gimmick is a clone, the clone card, but we just need to shield and like uh, punish out of shield or just really uh, SIV is good. It's like a it's like a mini Sonic, but a easier Sonic, like way easier Sonic. You make a Koopa it can be annoying, but just um, catch them. And yeah, I mean, I don't not a lot to say because I, I don't, uh, I didn't uh, practice this matchup for a lot, but. I know it's we, we win because Bowser is not a very good character anyway, so <laughs> he's not a good uh, he's not a good he's not a good character. He's not gonna do well against Lucina for most for the most part. Um, okay, Violet, Violet I will say slight advantage. So Violet uh, outrange us, but we have the speed. We can just run up shield for four air back here. We can anti hair with four air. Um, like when. Uh, the 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 arrow neutral B is not really uh, a problem, and like when we just run to her face and we close the gap again, it, it's really easy to pressure her. I invite her, his, I mean her him, <laughs> and uh, yeah, Edgarden is hard because of data recovery, and he, um, she or he can stall. Uh, but really the neutral is, I think, it's the loose knife favor and also the advantage. I mean, the Ballet doesn't have a good advantage. That's what it's gonna be. Slide advantage. Get a Falcon. Uh, again, slide advantage. Uh, we can combo, edge guard, um, him very really well. But Falcon has also a really good speed and mobility. So he can really, uh, he's good at with finish Lucina and combo and kill, kill combo. Uh, so we need to be, to, to do, to be a caution, cautious. And, uh, but if we if we like if we play more defensive, uh, patiently just retreat our yards, it's hard to the Falcon to do something. Uh, we outrange Falcon, of course, and Captain Fal Falcon has a bad advantage, as we know. And we can just rack up damage in advantage and edge guard, dash trap him. But yeah. Uh, Chrom. Uh, I don't know, Chrom. I mean, I will see it. No, still has a slight advantage. But Crunt is a, has a really good mobility, faster than Lucina, great box, good damage output, kill power. Uh, it's really hard to, like, I mean, it's almost impossible to whip finish Chrome or just finish out of shield because uh, his are already set on shield. Uh, but the, the big part that Lucina can take advantage is the recovery. It's really, edge guard, uh, it's really easy to edge guard or game Chrome. And that's why I think we won the matchup. If if Chrome has like a godlike recovery, maybe it's gonna be more like even or uh, slight advantage. But because of the recovery, it's uh, it really helps Lucina to win against uh, this matchup. Uh, Cloud, very slight advantage. Uh, again, like Chrome, a big box speed has a projectile. Limit can be uh, a good thing against Lucina, uh, especially for guarding Lucina. But like Chrome, uh, by recovery you can easily guard with counter down air. Uh, just be uh, co just uh, be aware of the the cloud cloud side. I mean, like Chrome, like the up B suicide, suicide, suicide. Yeah, I mean, and that's it. I can again just uh, we can also uh, anti anti air uh, cloud with four air like rising four air, uh, but yeah, be, be, but be uh, but we need to uh, to be caution against the uh, back air and, because yeah, um, cloud outrun to Lucina and has a good kill power, so just play defensive, patient. Run up shield is really good in this matchup because cloud doesn't have a good grab or grab combo. So yeah, play a lot of shield, stay grounded, and sometimes anti-air. But when we get cut off stage, it's, not, it's, it's, it's supposed to be dead. But that's why it's gonna be a slight advantage. Corrin, slight advantage. <laughs> Again, uh, like a sword use about recovery, but, uh, neutral can be hard or even, because I can uh, Corrin good good uh, range, outer into Cena, but he's slow. So again, run up shield for Lucina, anti-air, pressure uh, in mid-range, and just an edge guard. Uh, guard is not very easy because 
uh, she, she has an invisibility on her AB at the beginning and it's disjointed but you can counter or down here but here the key to read the I think the neutral the, in the disadvantage because current doesn't have a good disadvantage you can uh, take advantage also her her mobility is bad and Lucina has a good mobility so we can just uh, outspeed her and take advantage of this in neutral uh, Daisy you know, you know the character you're just clone here okay Diddy Kong you can be our first Uh, our first hard for Lucina, but kind of even because uh, Kong is really good to whiff finish Lucina with banana. Like, if you throw like one there or one for there, uh, just in front of the Diddy Kong, but like you whiff, you can just banana out of shield or just banana and just uh, yeah, combo you or kill con from you. Uh, so, uh, we really need to play a uh, really def I mean, uh, again, patiently defensive, real tutorial. Um, and to to make sure our Ariels touch his shield, but like with a good spacing, to, to uh, so we can uh, shield after or uh, just be safe. But um, Diddy Kong also have a coin grab, so if you shield, he can monkey flip and grab you. So I think the best thing is to to like, uh, uh, for example, you space for air, but you don't want to shield, but try to jump back to avoid banana or uh, side B. But it's hard because yeah, Diddy Kong will. Uh, we'll have the we'll, can, Diddy Kong can play his game, but not Lucina. Lucina need to adapt and to counterplay the Diddy Kong game plan. That's why it's hard for Lucina. But even because Diddy Kong don't, don't have a lot of range, we can edge guard Diddy Kong. Uh, he's not very EV, so we can kill relatively early. And if we don't get a banana up smash or force smash, we can live uh, decently long. So. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for Lucina, but even, kinda even, kinda even. I think the, the best player will win. Uh, next, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong, gonna be a 60 40. Donkey Kong is just Bowser, but a worse Bowser, so he's, he has good speed, but a bit less. Uh, he's big, heavy, but not as heavy as Bowser. He has a really bad advantage. We combo uh, D Kong with Edge Guard easily, with counter, down air, back air. Um, and Icon doesn't have a really. I mean, his advantage is okay, but he cannot uh, punish our, our landings. Or when we're in juggle, it's easier to go down against DK than against Bowser because, again, the speed and just the, the kit of Donkey Kong is less good than Bowser. He doesn't really have a coming grab or crazy speed. So, yeah, in, when Donkey Kong is in, is in that disadvantage, we just. Rack up damage so easily and can like kill him like just uh, back air off stage and edge guard kill and also the ledge you can just ledge trap Donkey Kong easily so, yeah 60 40 uh, Doc is gonna be 60 40 Doc slow bad range bad recovery the only good thing with Doc is his pills because he can camp us but uh, and like the balance of the pills are kind of good to anti-air Lucina uh, But if we can just uh, Pass the pills and oh we now we're in front of Mario. We can just I mean, dr. Mario. We can just get four air near and just space and can if we're if we use space uh, He cannot up your life shield uh, So yeah, it's bad and he can, like, He doesn't have the ability to just retreat easily yeah, we need to guard him. He has, he has a good kill power, but if if we play uh, um, if we if we play defensively and we don't commit, it's gonna be hard to kill. So yeah, advantage. The duck hunt. Uh, slight advantage. Um, duck hunt. It's a it's owner or a good owner, and it's hard for Lucina in owner and. Uh, to approach, hard to approach. Uh, but when you are when you're in the when you're uh, you're approaching Dokkan and you're when you're now in mid range, you can just pressure Dokkan and he's not very really good at close combat and he doesn't have a good range. He has an exploitable recovery, a bad advantage. Um, and her, uh, again, her her uh, his projectiles are not that good because you can just like 
swing like if the can is in front can down tilt or f tilt the the can will fly back to him uh, same i think for the the frisbee and the gunman just jump over it um, yeah just be be smart and duck on him just be patient general don't get hit by his uh, random projectiles and close the gap and pressure him and uh, deals a, a lot of damage next one is falco Falco is going to be a slight advantage. But Falco is, uh, I mean, Falco can be a bit annoying because of laser. Laser is good against Lucina because it forces an approach. And, uh, and I, Falco, <laughs> um, uh, if if you don't have laser, you don't have a lot of things in neutral anyway. Because uh, a lot of things are not safe on shield. And it doesn't have a good, like, doesn't have a lot of range. Uh, and also, Fal Falco is really good at combo Lucina. He can do like easily 60 to 80 combo, <laughs> 60 to 80 percent in one combo. So we really need to uh, be patient, defensive. Uh, don't run at him and just get that get uh, anti air by his up tilt. So we uh, don't jump like uh, above Falco. Just jump uh, back or just um, beside, but not over him because don't want to get up tilt combo. And up till back here. Uh, oh yeah, also we we just edge guard Falco like easily. Yeah. Uh, that, that's gonna be for yeah, that's gonna be it for Falco, I think. So yeah, we just has more yeah, so Falco doesn't have a good mobility. So it, it, if we can close the gap slowly uh, after the laser after the laser uh, Falco it's hard to do something. Now, now that you say is in the mid range or like close range. Yeah, lack of range, bad bad recovery, and uh, uh, bad advantage. Yeah, also light, so he dies early. Yeah, uh, probably the easier uh, spaces, also the worst spaces in my opinion. Fox, 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 fox zombie. In. Easier for Lucy. I, mean, I don't know. Fox. It's it's weird. Fox is weird because I feel it's really even neutral, but the advantage of, of fox is so bad. Like. You hit Fox once, and you juggle him, and, uh, and off stage you can zero to that him easily, because like Falco doesn't have a good uh, recovery, but it's a good game plan. Like I think in neutral we need to play more in the Fox game game plan, because he's just gonna we finish our uh, uh, reckless for air and air with dash attack most of the time, and he has good combo against Lucina. But I think because of the bad advantage of Fox and his lack of range, I think it's easier for Lucina in general when she's like she has the hit. And in neutral, just a uh, ramp shield, retreating Ariels, be safe. Not overcome it against Fox, please. But easier for Lucina. But kind of even. Gandor. Gandor is gonna be a good 60 40. So yeah, Gandor, I think everyone knows. Uh, <laughs> I have a. Like, it's probably the match I had the most experience because of IT&T. I really know the match very well, and Usna can just combo Ganon and keep Ganon at advantage for like eternity. And Jogar can be tricky because of uh, up air who stays spike, and like you cannot counter. And I uh, often when I want to like jump down here, I uh, Phantom Footstool, which is well, it kind of sucks. Because now, Ganon go to the edge, but uh, in general, uh, we can just game Ganon, uh, edge guard Ganon door, uh, keep him in that advantage. Also, her, his neutral is not good, we can just play safe, space, and when we have the like the hit, we can just juggle him, advantage him, and rack up damage, and like kill him off stage. But Gandor has some tools, I think. Uh, mainly, I mean, Gandor has a good range. Like, Nair is disjointed. He has F tilt, down tilt. So, he, he, at least he has range. Like, if Gandor doesn't have range, it will be probably a, a lot worse. But he has range, he has a command grab. So, he, he has some uh, burst option also to uh, with finish Lucina. So. And also, he hits really hard and has a good, uh, good, uh, good kill power. Need to play safe again and just force Gandalf, force the Gandalf to approach. It's gonna be hard for him. 
Uh, Greninja, Greninja. Oh, I don't know Greninja. Is it here? Uh, probably. Like, Greninja may like to say uh, Greninja beats Lucina, but I think it's it's, it's better for us. Uh, I would say hard for Lucina, but kind of even, because Greninja, uh, we finish Lucina easily with dash attack. We finish um, 40 air, neutral layer. And also, we have the Shuriken. And the Shuriken just forces Lucina to approach and to throw it boxes. So, it's easier for Greninja. And harder for Lucina for in neutral, but uh, when you close the gap, when you're closing the gap with again like, Greninja, it's easy to just pressure him. Uh, also, you, you, you really don't have a good uh, shield option, so just pressure a shield. Uh, doesn't have, Greninja doesn't have a good advantage, I mean, disadvantage state, so rack up percentage and disadvantage. We can edge guard with, I mean, his W because he doesn't have a read box. Uh, we can counter the side B if we can read it. Uh, yeah, down here, down here, the, the a B or back here, the a B. Uh, yeah, but again, uh, Greninja are really good neutral. Can kill Lucina early with down tilt for up smash or like all his crazy kill confirm. So it's it's hard, but it's doable, and I will say it's kind of even. And the best player uh, will usually win. Uh, next is Hero. Hero is gonna be in slight seven. Uh, side advantage, so he rules like, as a weird zoner. Uh, he has a sword, but really uh, not good from that. Uh, not good mobility. So uh, just be patient. Don't run into random stuff and die like zero. <laughs> and but when when you're closing the gap, you can just pressure a hero. Like his from that is not good at close range. Uh, bad advantage. Get edge guard. Easily with, I mean, if he's a, a B, a B, uh, you can just down air him. If you zoom, well, you, you can, you, there's nothing you can do. But yeah, uh, I think we can edge guard uh, the a B with back air and down air. And in general, when when your when this nice school has closed the gap, it's 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 easy for us now. Uh, next, ice climbers. Probably here, 60-40. Ice climbers, I don't know. Okay, neutral, not, not, really, not, don't have a good range, even with the armor. Uh, slow, uh, nana, I the thing we, I the, the, the key here in this matchup, uh, Lucina just need to kill nana first, like separate the climbers and kill nana first, and like, it's, uh, it's like a 10, a, a 9, 10, then what? Not only 10 matchup for Lucina, but against Ice Climber, just start from camp, pressure with 40 in air, uh, out range. Uh, edge guard is hard because you can side B or up B, but if you side B, may, maybe counter or just, I don't know, a smash or uh, back air, 40 air. In a B, try maybe a down air, but it's hard. And you can stage play because there's a nade box, but you can't really counter it. Uh, uh, yeah, we will see. Yeah, yeah CD40 and just out range, battle camp, be lame, and be safe. And don't get grabbed, eh? don't get grabbed because 0 to death <laughs> or 0 to 60 combo. You don't want you don't want this. And I think has a good kill power, so just be pa be patient, defensive, be lame, and like just rack up per damage until kill percent or edge guard. Ike, my boy Ike, he's gonna be in a slight advantage. Yeah, as when I when I mean Ike, I can really feel like Lucina was one of my hard matchup. Uh, Lucina is just really good. As, I mean, Lucina for me is like better Ike. So at the beginning, it's really good for Lucina, right? And yeah, because she has a good sword, almost the same range as Ike, not the same kill power, but uh, better frame data, and this is in a better frame data and better speed, and this is. A huge, uh, huge ad advantage in this game and yeah. in this matchup, of course. So Ike, he will nair, so just uh, rising for air to entire air, and when he's not jumping, now you can pressure with for air or nair. Uh, he's slow, bad advantage can juggle him. 
uh, rack of damage. Edge Guardian can be tricky, but if you have the balls, you can go counter his uh, his side B when you think he's going to go to the ledge, or maybe try to uh, trade with a back air, and usually the Ike will be dead, or it, the the Ike will 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 need to up B, so now we can counter. But yeah, but I can't. With a counter, you need to have a, sometimes the counter will, will win, so uh, so yeah, be aware of, of your uh, spacing of the counter. Well, yeah, usually if 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 you can hit I out of side B, uh, he's dead. Like if you have B, just counter it. Uh, yeah, that, that's gonna be yeah. You just anti anti air wrap shield. Uh, it's very hard to I to. To play uh, her game plan, and yeah, uh, in Cineroar, is gonna be save 40. Cineroar, very slow. Uh, I mean, okay, it's advantage because uh, because of the revenge, so bait the revenge and hit him after. Uh, don't have a lot of range, uh, but don't throw random near fair because he has the side B who, who deal like 25% and kills relatively early uh, we can edge guard him yeah edge guard with like four air back air down air yeah down to a B yeah. and I think that's I mean this character if you play patient and force him to approach it's really hard for Interor to do something and just to win neutral yeah yeah, yeah. I hope that's it right Inkling is gonna be uh, even, uh, even, even. Uh, so even is like the same type. I mean, the, the same style of character who who usually wins or uh, is a horrible listener. So the the wave finisher, the bait finish, uh, like Diddy Kong and Green Job. But uh, uh, Inkling doesn't, doesn't really have a, a good projectile to force an approach. Maybe Splat Bomb and Spider Shot, but not really at the same time. And the uh, if if uh, Inkling is not back airing uh, in charge of whip finish, like just retreat Ariel's uh, and you're gonna, gonna be okay. Like spot just <laughs> his grab, you you outrange uh, Inkling in general if he's not back airing. Uh, you can you can uh, actually I mean you, you can give I mean, you can uh, edge guard Inkling. Like, it's it's hard, but it's not that hard. Sometimes I I've done this multiple times. Inkling, just go to the ledge and try to react or anticipate the hubby and down air, and you're dead. And I mean, Inkling is good to edge guard in, uh, Lucina, but I think it's 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 not that easy because Lucina can have some mix-ups, and hubby is also a dangerous tool to mess with off stage because of stage spike. But yeah, but. Um, Inkling can can we finish easily a random fair and air like miss pace like with with grab like dash grab so just just play like patient defensive and with retreat aerials and you're gonna be fine you're gonna be fine it's okay yeah also he struggle to kill so if should just like uh, camp him when you're in the up to a pair percentage and don't get roller so again don't be like don't be uh, antsy or <laughs> right too reckless. Just be safe. Next one is Isabel. Isabel is gonna be our first advantage, big advantage, because <laughs> Lucina just destroys Isabel. Now Isabel is like, I mean, is a zoner. She's a zoner, but a really bad zoner against Lucina. I mean, she can for your back air, but the the Lord Rocket Mine is so bad because you can just run up, down tilt, up. <laughs> it's free. There's no me at mine anymore. And the fishing rod, you can just wrap shield, jump over it, and finish with four air. When you're closing the gap, you just four air, nair, pressure. Uh, Isabel, uh, Isabel is a bad advantage. She doesn't have a lot of frames. She's floaty. You just juggle, rock of damage, and edge guard with back air. Because yeah, you can't read down because of the balloon, but just back air, four air, and you're gonna kill Isabel, who is light, early. And yeah, just 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 a uh, just a really bad matchup for for Isabel. I mean, when and really easy for us now. Yeah, just just be pay a, a bit patient though, because if you just run to fishing run <laughs> the mine, like of course you're gonna lose. But just just be a little bit patient and 
It's gonna be easy. Like, really easy. Uh, now we get Joe Curry. Joe Curry is gonna be even. Like, I feel it should, uh, Joe Curry should be in the uh, Heart of Lucina because Joe Curry is a better character overall and he has really good to like into Lucina. Like, Gone, Side B. Yeah, he can force Lucina to approach and he's a good speed. He can we finish Lucina. Uh, but I feel uh, the big, I mean, cla uh, classic Joker is, is really good against Lucina. Uh, we, need, we need to approach, but when, we, when we're in, uh, in mid range, we can space with 4 air and air and out range Joker. Because the, our Joker doesn't have a lot. I mean, Joker has a bit of range because of his, his dagger, but not enough to compete with Lucina. So you will, you will need to more play uh, with finish. Where we can play safe and don't get with finish. Uh, uh, so it's, it's very hard to edge guard the uh, classic Joker with the terror because you can just stall, so down air is hard. Uh, you can try to nair. I tried like this one time and it works. <laughs> it works, so, but again, the Joker, if he's smart, you can just stall. But Arsene is legit. I mean, Arsene in advantage is. is. I mean, is, is good for Lucina, especially off stage because oh, um, Arsene up B just down air and he's dead. He <laughs> just gets the timing and and you can react because the uh, the ascent is slow. Uh, and Lucina is also a good character against Arsene. Uh, he uh, I mean personally I'm good against Arsene and Lucina has the tool to deal against Arsene. And she can play patiently, defensively. She can run away. She has a good speed, uh, good range to compete. Like, she has a tool, and if the player is smart, he, like, Lucina can compete with Arsene and just don't get hit too much, and, uh, yes, and just, um, stall a bit the meter, uh, and, like, if you don't get killed by Arsene, it's gonna be hard to Joker, for normal Joker to kill you, like, if you, if you, uh, if you, uh, if you space your, your RLs and just don't, uh, let uh, Joker go uh, near you and uh, avoid a fair one uh, kill setup. You're gonna live for a long time. So uh, because of the recovery of Arsenal, I will say yeah, even. But yeah, I don't, it can be hard for Lucina, so I can see it, but not not slight advantage. For me, even uh, again, Joker is probably uh, my second most uh, well-known matchup. I practice, uh, I get a lot of Jokers regularly, so I really, I really feel it's even. Uh, next. Puff! I don't like this matchup, but Puff is still safe for it. Puff is just annoying because he's just so over centralized again uh, for Lucina. I mean, he's just, oh, he's just gonna float uh, everywhere and try to poke you with Nair, Fair, Side B. So just. I don't like this matchup because I Lucina need need she needs to be to play really uh, in a lame way. I was four air, four air, and again four air, F till, F till four air. <laughs> just outrange this uh, outrange Jigglypuff, like swing her her uh, our Ariel to her face. Just don't let Jigs approach. Uh, it's hard to guard because Puff has a good mobility and mix ups. But sometimes a good back air can kill him uh, early. I mean, I mean um, Jigglypuff is uh, is very light and floaty, so a good up air, back air can kill him like at around 180. I mean, 80, 100 percent, maybe above. Uh, but don't get edge guard those because Jigglypuff can easily edge guard uh, Lucina with Nair. And like just other tool, so just be really, uh, just be be smart of stage because you don't want to get game at three. And also the rest setup, don't don't let uh, GP approach and rest it up you because yeah you're gonna lose. <laughs> yeah, just 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 be lame, but I don't like to be lame. But in this matchup you need to be like, it's one of the lamest. I mean it's one of the matchups that you need to to play the lamest against. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay, next is gonna be Kazuya and I mean all the shows because for Lucina, all the shows all are the same. Like the same game plan applies to all the shows, and like they are 
all in the slide advantage. I mean, yeah, slide advantage. Uh, Shadows, uh, where is Shadows? Ryu, Ryu is here. And Terry is here. All right. But for a Shadow, it's very basic. Shadows usually uh, don't have a good mobility, don't have a lot of range. Uh, I mean, they can have projectiles, but it's not uh, good projectiles. And they don't have a good recovery. And this tree area, Lucina countered them. Lucina has a good mobility. She has a good range. She can space her swords with four in air. And they can, they, 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 there's nothing they can do <laughs> because they don't have the range to compete. And we edge guard them against Lee. Ryu and Ken, you can back here the side B, you counter or down in the up B. For Terry, same thing. And for Kazuya, you can just down or counter the up B or back here if he's not up B. Oh, yes, this, this matchup are just easy, but it's not advantage because uh, the if the shows can close the gap and combo Lucina, Lucina, uh, yeah, it that's hurt for Lucina because they can do a deal a lot of percent and they can kill Lucina very early. Especially, I mean, Terry with Go, uh, can Ryu with the Abi, I mean, the Shoryuken uh, setup, and uh, Kazuya with like everything at ten percent. <laughs> so, yeah, just be play defensive and yeah, play play patiently defensively. Don't let them approach and you're gonna be fine against them. Next one is gonna be King Dede or King Didi. King Didi E advantage. Uh Gordo can be annoying because Gordo has decent range, but if I mean offline you can easily swing F tail or for and just throw Gordo back to King Didi. Uh, just force King Dede to approach. And there's nothing you can do. <laughs> Because Goro, you just uh, throw back at him. Uh, her Zarya's and ground moves are slow. Uh, he has range of armor, but it's so slow that we, we just swing our, our sword uh, before him. So yeah, we pressure, we, he's big, so we can combo, we can uh, we have a good advantage against them. I mean, the disadvantage of King Dele is bad. And I mean, we, it's really hard to edge guard King Dele because of the super armor on the up B, so we're we're more gonna be concentrated on the less traveling phase because King Dere is so big that it's easy to extract him. Uh, and I mean it's also hard to kill because it is very heavy, heavy, and it's, it's hard to, to I don't know, it's hard to kill him, like I don't know. We don't kill by edge guarding him, so we need like a rod it, like a rod back here or a down tilt down smash or something uh, neutral, you know. And it's harder. Uh, yeah, that, uh, King Kiro, 6040, like the, like most of the big Avis, uh, King Kiro is really big, we combo him, he has a bad advantage, just respect the Nair and finish him after, uh, it's hard, like, we cannot, like, down air, it's very really hard, you cannot down air or counter uh, his up B, but just go to the ledge and back air by the side and, He's gonna be dead uh, after some back here because he's, like, he's the second most AV character of the game. Uh, but yeah, but if we if, if we can get an edge guard, it's hard to kill, honestly. Also, King Hero has a good ring, I mean, has a projectiles, crown, the cannonball. So we need to, to be patient against him and don't run uh, in his projectiles. Uh, but when we close the gap, it's easy to uh, just uh, to pressure space him and yeah just overwhelm him because again I uh, don't have good frame data he's slow big yeah Kirby is gonna be our next 73 because again it's not just destroy Kirby Kirby uh, like like Puff and Isabelle doesn't have a good good range uh, he just had short limbs and <laughs> We can just outrun him easily with four air, nair. Uh, yeah, he has a good speed on the ground, but if if someone uh, like play grounded, Lucina can easily space them out with for her, her sword. And Kirby cannot really entire Lucina because he's so slow in the air. So if they, he, 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 uh, Kirby really has a slow airspeed, 
so it's hard to for him to uh, and I air and can just like path we can if we want to be lame because we can if if you want to win <laughs> and so the edge guarding can is is relatively easy he has mix up but unlike puff he has, he has a bad air ability back air kill early is light uh, down air for the obby uh, but yeah the obby can can uh, cheese us so yeah don't be aware of the the obby but usually just try to down air the obby is gonna be okay I'm gonna kill him Oh yeah, and I think again it's hard. I mean, it it can be hard for Kirby to kill, but he has good uh, raw move like back air, dash tag, and even the rock to edge guard is really good. But yes, Kirby just have so many flaws against Lucina that it's it's an easy matchup for Lucina. Uh, Link, Link, I'll say slight advantage. Uh, Link is a zoner, but he, he, he can also uh, like he's a kind of brawler because he can like near and put pressure at close range. But for the for the project for the zoning part, you still can just avoid the boomerang, avoid the arrow and the bomb, and with her speed, because Link doesn't doesn't have a good speed. And then when we're in mid range, like Link has the range to compete, but he has a sluggish frame data. So we can just swing first and pressure him, and then it's hard for Link to do something. Uh, when we hit Link, we we just juggle him, and Link doesn't have a good advantage. We rack up percent, and we can easily edge guard with down air, especially with counter. So yeah, it's hard for Link. It's hard for Link. Easy for us. Yeah. Mm. Next, Lil Mac. Don't you say the forty? Little Mac, another very polarizing character. Uh, I mean, just <laughs> what to say again, Little Mac. Uh, in this matchup, you don't really want to. I mean, you can try space, but he's so fast, and like, you don't want you, know, you don't want to mess with him like on the ground. So just platform camp him and like pressure him from the platform, like drop drop platform for air or near. I mean, not near, yeah. Drop platform for air, go back to the platform, uh, platform camp him, like try to hit him and the Earl and the just quickly get him off stage and edge guard like if he side B counter and for a B can counter <laughs> yeah just, just throw him like off stage and give him and um, be lame again that one can yeah against this matchup with uh, along with Puff you, you need to play like so lame to win but it's just it's just like little matter character, you know. That doesn't match up like everyone in this game. You need to play lane against Mac and you just like in friendly like you maybe not, but if you wanna win in tournament, you need to platform camp and edge guard. Yeah, don't don't mess with Mac uh, on stage, but just platform camp. <laughs> uh, to, to, to next Lucas is gonna be in a slight advantage. Um I mean uh, I mean Lucas uh, he's gonna zone. He's gonna like uh, camp with fire, like the picky fire, the the neutral B, the picky freeze. Yeah. We can just uh, we can just uh, close the gap, jump over it, and uh, I mean, it's not. Uh, Luca has good good uh, good blocking tool with like four air to catch jump, narrow shield, there. So we need to just like play the mid range. You don't want to get to go too close to Lucas because he has really good blocking tools. Also, with, uh, I think F tilt, jab, down tilt, there. So just close the gap and play mid range. And uh, if he throws a picky fire, just jump over and hit him with four air. And, and he cannot really do his other move. I mean, her, his aerials or um, ground moves because we just outrage him. And this uh, Lucas, Lucas is floaty. We can abuse him uh, in juggle situation, rack of damage in advantage, and an off stage is hard to uh, to edge guard because you have so many so many mix up with Zare, double jump back, uh, picket thunder that we cannot really counter because it's a multi multi hit, so it doesn't like the counter attack is is kind of weak. So just like I mean, we we can try to down air, like two frame down air Zare or down air. I mean, yeah, don't have the a B, but in general, against Lucas, just want to fake 
edge guard and just let's trap let, let's trap him. But he doesn't have a lot of range. And respect the his air. Well yeah, just outrange him. Uh, don't run into picky fire and yeah. Uh, outrange. Keep him at disadvantage and yeah, you're gonna be okay. Lucina is of course an even matchup because Lucina against Lucina is even. Ah, uh, okay. Next. <laughs> that was a joke. Uh, Lucario is. Uh, I don't know. I would say. It's not advantage. I mean, maybe it's 60 40, but I, I didn't fight against a lot of Lucario in my career of uh, Smasher, in Ultimate. But I can see. I can see being slight advantage because we outrun Lucario, but he has the Aura Sphere. Which is good because uh, everyone who has a projectile against Lucina has a uh, has something to counter play Lucina, but uh, to force an approach from Lucina, by force Lucina. Like uh, so Lucina needs to approach, but R2 is not a rate threatening. Uh, I mean, projectile, but it's still a projectile. So just close the gap and uh, space space Lucario out and uh, keep him in his advantage, edge guards down air, back air and try to out the lead because, yeah, and kill uh, Lucario early if you can because yeah, be uh, uh, the dangerous part of course is Aura like Aura Lucario like of, at 100% and above is game dangerous and kill it's not very early and but we can kill Lucario, Lucario early with uh, edge guarding and at the wor I mean at, at worst we can down tilt down smash him. But yeah, just yeah, be be uh, just outspace Lucario and at when Lucario is at kill percent as Aura, you need to be to be really careful. And I think that's why uh, with Aura and I mean the Aura mechanic and the Aura sphere, that's why it's not advantage but only slight advantage from Lucario. For Lucina, advantage for Lucina. <laughs> uh, Luigi, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. advantage. Luigi, uh, Luigi is slow, but he has a fireball and he has a Zare, so he outrained Lucina. So, uh, Luigi, another uh, very polarizing character, you need to just platform cam at the beginning of the game. I mean, when, when you're at 0%, just platform cam because you don't want to get uh, zero to death. So you platform cam, you bait the Zair and you try to finish with a... Uh, like you do a lot of jump, jump and finish, like you jump and hope... I don't know. Like just just, just uh, avoid Zair and we fin punish the Zair with 4 air. And Luigi doesn't have a good advantage state. Uh, Luigi doesn't have a good disadvantage state. But he has Cyclone, so uh, when you juggle him, just try sometimes to bait the Cyclone. And after you can finish with a lot of things. And for recovery, you can just counter the the, the side B, the missile, the green missile, and or or uh, back here. So yeah, really easy to game. Uh, or, or you can down air the up B. So yeah, be patient. Don't get grabbed. Platform camp, out range, and uh, yeah, edge guard, edge guard Luigi. Mario, Mario is an interesting case because I think on paper or theoretically, Lucina wins because of the range. But Mario has a lot of tools to counterplay a uh, Lucina game plan. So I will say it's probably easier for Lucina, but uh, kind of even. It, let me explain. So yeah, we can outrain to uh, we can outrain to Mario with sword air and well, with or sword in general. But Mario can uh, has has a lot of tools. He has fireball to just throw projectile of Lucina and force her to approach. Or just make Lucina take a decision, and uh, Maru can like grab if Lucina shield or entire if she jumps. That's really good. And she and Maru also has, also has the 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 jet like the, the kind of water. <laughs> What's the name? The flood. Yeah, the flood. The flood to like if Lucina uh, showed up and she tried space, you can just flood and whoop. E Mario. Has has one neutral, <laughs> like Lucina just like yeah you know, because Lucina is so floaty, uh, a flood will put her in a really bad spot. Even in neutral, like she's gonna be she, she she's gonna floating like uh, at full of height when she has she has made a, a short up. So I think it's two very good tools against Lucina, and yeah I think that's why it's it's gonna be even because of this, these two tools. 
but it's hard for Mario because you need, you need to work more, like to think of his game plan. Like, like first Usna played her game plan with spacing her sword, and Mario's like, oh, I need to flood her or throw fireball and try something to break the zone or just counter hit her con uh, counter her her game plan, and that's exactly why it's a matchup, and that's why I think it's easier for Lucina, but kind of even. Cause yeah, and also Mario can just combo it's not very well and like turn it to death or like the like Mario Mario has a lot of uh, bullshit combo kills you like super early or just the the, the um, ladder combo that's really good against Lucina. Cause Lucina can struggle sometimes to kill like Mario. I mean we can just go Mario with counter and counter her, his up B or maybe down air. But it's, it's really disjointed of of Mario, and but yeah. So yeah, sometimes we're not gonna kill Mario early, but Mario can kill Lucina early uh, often. So yeah, don't, try to don't get the combo against Mario. Uh, Mart is gonna be even because I mean Mart is worse to Lucina, right? But because Lucina will play at mid range, uh, I think Mart is gonna be. We're gonna have have more taper, but taper are still inconsistent in this game. So I think sometimes Mario will kill early, but sometimes he will not, and Lucina will kill first. So I think it's relatively even. Like they're, they, they, they are clones, but because of the taper mechanic, I think it, it balances uh, the, the the fight in the matchup. So yeah, I'll see even. I mean, I maybe maybe Lucina can like play, do on uh, Lucina can on purpose like uh, miss space her hard holes to just uh, get it with the the sour spell of Mart swords. But I will see in general, uh, yeah, it's uh, even. Next one, Mega Man. Mega Man is gonna be our advantage. Like most of the zoners in this game. It's hard for Lucina to approach, but uh, again, Lucina has a good mobility to avoid the projectiles in this game. And when uh, she's closing the gap, she can apply pressure with 4 air, air, and Mega Man doesn't have a lot of range in close combat. Uh, and also, he's heavy and fast fire, so we can juggle him, combo him easily. Uh, we can also edge guard because doesn't, doesn't re Mega Man doesn't have a hitbox on his B, so we can uh, ba down air, back air. So yeah, it's just annoying because of all the projectiles, but when when the gap is closed and you're you're mid range, it's it's easy for us, you know. Yeah, I mean I mean be be uh, caution be caution of the the leaf shield though. Leaf shield, uh, you really need to to bait this out and punish after, like especially in uh, in juggle. So yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, Meta Knight, Meta Knight. Uh... Uh, slight advantage. Okay, Meta Knight is a kind of whiff finisher, but it's not a very good whiff finisher in this game. Like, there's maybe <laughs> when, like, there's maybe like a, a 10 or 20% range when, when, like, one whiff, whiff RLs will lead to death with, uh, I mean, for, for Lucina, I can put Meta Knight because you can dash tag it up air, up air, up air, up air, up air, up B. And kill is not 35. I think the range is like 35 to 45, right? Something like this, or 28 to 35. Like, it's around a 10 percent window. But if you're out of this window, you uh, Imitai will struggle to kill you. And again, again, against with finisher, we just need to retreat RLs, be patient, and be, play safe. And it's really hard to do something against Lucina when she's safe. And, and also, we just outrange uh, Meta Knight. Because Metana has a sword, but it's a mini sword, and Metana has a, I mean, a good sword. Not a big, but a, a good sword. Small sword, medium sword. <laughs> but, uh, is now our train to uh, Metana Knight. Metana Knight can sometimes struggle to kill, and, uh, but not to Lucina. So, we can kill early, and especially that Metana Knight is light, in a, in a ball, so easy to hit. Uh, I mean... It's almost impossible to edge guard a good Meta Knight, but a good Meta Knight can edge guard Lucina, so that's a plus for for uh, Meta Knight in this matchup. 
But overall, I think uh, Lucina wins the matchup. Mewtwo, even uh, slight advantage. Mewtwo, I mean, like Lucario has a good project. I mean, has a similar projectile, but better because yeah, he has less lag. You can throw the shadow ball and like just a lot of pressure after it. But when again, uh, I mean, Mewtwo has 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 a good range, but it's not as this. Mewtwo has range to compete, but it's not a disjointed range, so you still just need to throw a sword and she will win, and after it, just combo Mewtwo, juggle Mewtwo, and Mewtwo, you know, re really big, flurry, slide, so it's it's really uh, some bad, bad, um, bad, thi bad, bad things against Lucina, because she's gonna rack up damage and kill early. Uh, it's hard to wedge guard Mewtwo. Uh, the best way is probably by down air to frame, but for the most part, you're just gonna kill at like 100 with nair or back air to the edge or not a raw hit or down and down smash. So yeah, easy, easy to easy to hit, easy to kill. Uh, it has a good a good speed, but because of Lucina's it boxes. I mean, this one it boxes. Like it, it's hard for me to I think, especially in the advantage. So yeah, that's gonna be. Uh, it for Mewtwo, so slight advantage. Uh, slight advantage. Uh, Mew Brawler is gonna be in slight advantage. Uh, so Mew Brawler, uh, good speed, but a lot of range. So it it's a bit like Fog, but it doesn't have a good burst option, I think. So it's hard to whip finish as Mew Brawler, uh, as Mew Brawler, or and Lucina can just throw her sword in space and combo him. And you can also edge guard Mirror easily. It doesn't have a good recovery. I mean, if you have the flip jump thing, like the ZSS, it's harder. But we can just counter all the. I think the three up Bs or just swing or uh, our sword and like slap, slap the recovery with four air, down air, back air. Uh, we, I mean, Mirror can kill early sometimes, but. As so Lucina, also it's like she can kill early. So yeah, I'll say yes, last time advantage because of the 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 range of Lucina and the, the edge guarding mainly. Nigoner, side advantage. So, uh, again, again, zoner, a uh, really good zoner and good projectile. But uh, if Lucina is patient, she can just ma uh, maneuver. She can she can uh, avoid the projectile. And when she's in mid range, Megan doesn't have a good frame data and or a good inbox in close range, so we can just pressure, space, Megan, combo him, uh, rack up damage in his advantage, and edge guard Megan. So Megan doesn't have good. I mean, Megan has a good uh, recovery in terms of distance, but he does not really have a inbox, so we can just down, down air or back here him and less trapping him. Like, just. Uh, Avoid the projectile and be in his face, and it's, it's really hard for Megonor. But we need to break the wall of projectile before, and that's why it's gonna be a slight advantage for Lucina. Mr. Fire is like a worst Megonor, so again, projectile, you can just avoid projectile with patience and good mobility. Uh, Mr. Fire is, I think, kinda slow. Yeah, sword though, but it's not a good sword. Like, it's like a, it's like Metana, it's like a mini sword, or like, a small medium sword, so it's not still out range. It does have better frame data. And yeah, like one once we we break the wall of projectile, we, we can just abuse our, our frame data, our our range and our advantage state, and rack up damage against a new sword fighter. Again, just just be patient and avoid the tornado setup or the chakra chakram chakram setup, like the side B thing. The ring. Uh, Min Min! Okay, Min Min is gonna be our first slight advantage. I think it's a slight advantage because, I mean, mainly because of the range. Like, Min Min has like, I have, like too much range <laughs> for a Smash character, in my opinion. But, yeah, she, Min Min can just, she can just <sighs> throw her horn and it does not for like miles away. And, uh, in general, we, we just against Zonry, we just need to be patient and avoid projectiles. But this time, uh, Min Min 
I mean, her projectile are his arms. So, you know, tilt, F smash, I mean, her smashes, uh, neutral air, or her arm also. It's really weird and it's really good against Lucina because she can just, if the main player can read the movement of Lucina, Lucina can do nothing. Like, there's nothing she can do. And it's really hard to go to get in against Min Min. We can try to jump, but a good Min Min will cover the jump option with a Ram Ram, up smash, or near. So it's really hard to go to get in. But when once we get in, we can uh, we can try to to put pressure. We have both from that and Min Min. Min Min is uh, I don't have a good advantage. I mean, it's advantage, so we can abuse that and rack up person in advantage. And also the recovery. Uh, Lucina is good to to, uh, to edge guard Min Min with back air, for air, uh, down air for the two frame of the uh, But because of the of the neutral and the fact that uh, Min Min can kill very early with like her setups or like the the big ball, uh, the wrecking ball, yeah, it's yeah she can just rob stock sometimes and it's really hard to snap for her to come back if like she. She didn't. She don't find a, an edge guard. So yeah, it's a slight advantage. It's doable, but uh, the Lucina player need to work uh, really hard. Garen Watch is gonna be in slight advantage. Garen Watch. Um, here. So Garen Watch. Uh, I mean, we see how Garen Watch don't have a good a good range, but in fact, back here is a. Uh, at a good range, Nair, Nair is good to anti air to Sina, and the bomb also is a kind of projectile, but like vertically. But uh, even if we uh, again watch have relatively good range, Lucina has better range and it's disjointed, so we can just uh, out range, uh, uh, meet again, watch, uh, hit him, and I mean, uh, again, watch has a good uh, uh, advantage, so we cannot rack up a lot of percent, but he's light, so. A few good hits or strings, and um, again, watch it at kill percent. Uh, it's hard to edge guard, but we can try to down air uh, his up B like uh, for like for two frame or yeah, it got edge, it try to spike him with a down air. It's hard, but it's possible. But just yeah, I will say play patiently and try to just keep uh, Mr. Game watch out and uh, his. Like his percentage is gonna rack up and uh, um, so um, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna die uh, anyway uh, yeah like at at uh, at a moment he's gonna die like from a four air back air like down to down smash or like a right hit in the trolling he's light so he's gonna he's gonna die he, he's not gonna die like uh, late. Yeah, and if if we don't get like down smash S smash, it's kind of hard to kill with Gen One. So yeah, Ness is a bit like Lucas. So I think I think, I think Ness is easier than oh no. in fact yeah that's right. I think uh, Ness is advantage because unlike uh, Lucas, Ness has a worse recovery and he has a worse boxing tools. Um, I think his picky fire. I mean, picky fire is not. I would say better, but he's really good. But I mean, no. <laughs> if if Lucina get hit by picky fire, we can just SDI up and like double drop away because she's floaty. Or if the the nest is really close, we can just up B out of the picky fire. So even if we get hit by picky fire, it's not that big of a deal, and we can just jump over it and punish nest with forward air. Uh, again, like, like Lucas, you want to play the the mid range game, but this time look, uh, Ness doesn't have a good uh, boxing tool. I mean, he has his Orioles, for air and air is good and disjointed. But uh, if we if we just hit before him or just apply pressure, it's it's hard to do something with Ness against Lucina. And again, for the recovery, just picky thunder. Uh, just counter and if it's too close to the ledge you can try to down air him to frame. Uh, uh, yeah. Just just outrange Ness, uh, edge guard and, and so he's not really mobile so we can just we can just run 
uh, avoid the picky fire and yeah, close the gap. And ah, uh, now we can show pressure or just pressure with Ariels. Pac-Man. Oh, what on Mitra before? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, we can do Petra Mitra. So uh, Pit. I mean Pyramid is even. Uh, I mean. The most of the fight you're gonna be against Mitra, and Mitra is really good at with finishing. She's really fast. Uh, she has a good combo. But but when uh, but like like most of the with finisher, uh, just be safe with retreating Ariels. Uh, and when we when we get we get, we get the hit against Mitra, uh, we can combo and I mean she don't have a she, we can kind of, we can combo her. And rack of damage, but be aware of the uh, like the division thing, the foresight, foresight, yeah, foresight. Like try to bail out, and because Mitra is gonna uh, mash air dodge or spot dodge, whatever. So just just be ready to bait and punish the these habits. And but uh, uh, I mean, if I mean Mitra is, is really good in neutral against Lucina, and I will say it's uh, Mitra wins. But because of the recovery of Mitra and Pira, it's even. Like if if Mitra and Pira, uh, like they they have a good recovery, it's gonna be a bad matchup. But because we can just down air or just back air, uh, their recovery, and give give them early, uh, it really helps in the matchup because Mitra, uh, I think, has a better neutral, can rack up damage, and Mitra, Pira can kill early if we if we. Uh, don't uh, if 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 we're not uh, cautious, so yeah. If we don't if we don't make attention, so yeah. Against Mitra, uh, against Pira, like be, like please slowly and really defensively be safe. And Mitra, uh, Mit I also against Mitra, but the the plan is really to put them off stage and edge guard them and have an early game for our, um, a lead. <laughs> The Pac-Man is gonna be even. Pac-Man, a uh, really good zoner. I think it's one of the best zoners in the game, in my opinion. Uh, and uh, it's a very versatile kind of uh, type of uh, style of zoning, with the hydrant and the fruits and the bonus fruit. Uh, yeah, Pac-Man has a good combo, good uh, boxing tools. Um, it, it can be hard to for us not to, I mean, not to get in, but just. Um, to avoid the traps because I feel uh, Pac-Man is a kind of trapper and zoner, so and it's not as good speed. But the the problem is not to approach, but to avoid the traps more like. <laughs> and this is hard for Um Yeah, and uh, I mean, I mean Pac-Man when 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 once we 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 in, uh, in mid range we can pressure Pac-Man with full air space space Pac-Man out and. Just uh, rack up damage in, in advantage, but uh, it's hard to uh, edge guard Pac-Man because of uh, the super armor on side B and the uh, the up B because we cannot re spike uh, Pac-Man because it's just gonna bounce back. So it's hard to kill Pac-Man early because we cannot edge guard him, and he's he's not heavy, but he is a good he's a good uh, mid weight character at 95 units of weight. So we don't kill him early. And but he can kill can kill uh, Lucina early with the bell setup, the edge guarding because this uh, backhand is really good to edge guard with foyer and down here, uh, and the, also the the the, the hydrant. So it's very it, it can be tough, it can be tough. But I think if you say is patient and play well around the projectile, I mean the the uh, the burning fruit and the the hydrant, uh, it can be hard for Pac-Man to do something. So the key is really to know the matchup. And that's why it's gonna be an even matchup because I think the best player will usually win the, the match. Pautena is in ah, slight advantage. Uh back Lucina um good good uh, I mean, she has a good kit. She can force an approach with uh, auto radical I mean neutral B and uh, explosive flame <laughs> the, but but it's easy to just avoid with Lucina because the speed again and once we're in mid range, I mean it's isn't it's interesting because Pauta can just uh, rising there and anti air and combo Lucina 
or or the snake can apply pressure with four air. But I think the key is, is to I mean, try to to first the ground Alucina, so Pana can add really an air, and she will need to uh, four air. And uh, when she start uh, doing a uh, four air, uh, just I mean, try to parry four air and punish, or just anti air with four air. And when she she's playing like she's more grounded, you like now you can try to pressure with the uh, nair and fair and space out the uh, uh, palutena. And for recovery, uh, Balutena has a good recovery, but uh, the 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 key is to uh, two frame with the down air. But if the palutena do a, a teleport like over the ledge, uh, <laughs> there's nothing uh, use I can do though. Uh, yeah, and also uh, Palutena is tall and she doesn't, she doesn't have a very good. I mean, she get combo and it she just like in strings well Palutena and kills her early. I think Palutena uh, Lucina kills Palutena earlier than Palutena kills uh, Lucina early. So yeah, I think it's it's a slight it's not a slight advantage, but it's doable for Palutena, but it's easier for for Lucina. Oh yeah, I will say in general slight advantage. Peach, Peach is gonna be an even because Peach is she's really good to be and punish uh, Lucina uh, with turnips. Like with turnips, it's like if she, um, when Peach has a turnip, it's it, it's like if Peach has a, a bigger sword than Lucina, and she can just throw the turnip and. It was not in combo after it and deal like 80%. Uh, and so Peach, uh, so yeah, Peach combo Lucina. She can edge guard easily Lucina with the turnips or just like her float mechanic. It's hard to juggle Peach because of the float. Um, but the saving grace in this matchup, I'll say, is the speed of Lucina and the disjointed hitbox. So if you can uh, close, if you can like just play mid range, like you want to play at the mid range where. If Peach pulls the turn up, you can punish her, and like, but at the same time, uh, far enough to don't get hit by her uh, general moves. So yeah, you want to space with four air, air, and uh, yes, uh, just like hit, just um, swing uh, your RLs uh, on Peach to, to space and hit her because she don't have a different hitbox and. Like in general, speech struggle against range and projectiles, and that and Lucina has good range and good mobility. So close the gap and space your Orioles, and yeah, don't get combo. <laughs> don't get combo. No. Uh, next one is gonna be Pichu. Pichu. Honestly, I don't. I mean, I think at the uh, beginning of the game it was even, but now with the nerve and just the meta, I think it's slight advantage, because if Pichu does uh, Pichu. Cannot really force you to approach because if you just teach, if he just doing T jolt, he's gonna you gonna do self damage. He, you just you're just winning by doing nothing. <laughs> so he, so finally, Pichu need to approach, which kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, and and Lucina just out range <laughs> Pichu so much with four air near. Uh, we just out range Pichu. Pichu is very light. We can kill Pichu very early with a raw hit, with a raw back air, like near, like just like man. Shield. I mean, also Pichu. Pichu has a, a small shield, so it's easy to shield break, and we can like kill Pichu at twenty with a shield breaker, like maybe not at twenty, but maybe twenty with a yeah, maybe it's with rage. We can kill at twenty. So we can kill at super early with a shield break setup. Uh, I mean, we and we also can edge guard because. The the queen I like of Pichu don't have a hitbox, so we can just throw an air, or fair, or back air, or die, and down air. And uh, if the Pichu is on the trajectory, uh, uh, so he, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna be dead. And also, like Pichu is so light that up throw kills him like at one thirty. Like that's crazy. <laughs> or like me with rage, or like oh Pichu at one thirty, one forty, just need a grab and he's dead. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, in this matchup, you just want to play safely, defensively, like for the Pichu to approach and just a uh, true move and uh, self damage himself and uh, keep him keep him out. And when he's at kill percent, just kill, uh, just uh, like 
swing an Orioles and kill him. But he, he also has a good uh, combo game, good damage output, so you, you really want to keep uh, Pichu out and don't get a combo. Next one is Pikachu. And Pikachu, I think, in my opinion, is our worst matchup. So, oops. Uh, here. Okay. So, Pikachu, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, our worst matchup because unlike Pichu, uh, Pikachu can just uh, spam T drill and force uh, Lucina to approach. And now, if Lucina jumps, uh, Pikachu can four air, anti air. Uh, in, in, if we grab, um, if we shield, he can grab and combo him, and combo Lucina. Uh, he just has Pikachu like has one of the best neutral in the game, and he's so hard to it. Like yeah, he don't have a good of rain. Like uh, Lucina outrange Pikachu, but it's so hard to hit because of of his small size and just the pancake, the pancake in general. Uh, you need to up your shield, but sometimes you can be safe, so. Can shield before and then combo you and does a lot of damage. It's hard to edge guard because of the hitbox on the up B and yeah, he just, just has so many mix up R2 R2 S trap also. So he we will say he's, he's, against Pikachu is just hard everywhere. Like in neutral it's hard. In in edge guard edge guarding is hard. The edge trapping is hard. Even like rack of damage in advantage is hard because Small size, quick, uh, quick attack. Yeah, just Pikachu is like the count, the perfect counter, I think, to Lucina because he has projectiles, good recovery, can can kind of bait and finish. I mean, we finish with dash attack or just like oh, quick attack. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Uh, if we yeah, Pikachu can also we finish with quick attack. So if you 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 with a uh, uh, four air, you can just quick attack you. Boom, boom. And combo you. Like, that's so stupid. So yeah, this matchup it's really hard, really hard. Worst matchup in the game. Uh, well, worst matchup for Lucina in this game. Uh, I mean, so yeah. Omar is gonna be in a slight advantage because he's a zoner, but he's slow. He doesn't have a good range and an extra exploitable recovery. And I mean, it's not it's not like the best projectile. I don't think Pikmin are that good for against Lucina because she can just. Uh, I mean, if the Pikmin are uh, attached to her, she can like throw an air or a quick RL to just uh, kill the Pikmin. Uh, also, if the I think if if the the Elmore do a smash attack, you can just clank with a four air, and it's gonna hit um, Elmore after it. And Elmore, as I say, uh, bad advantage. Just bait out the whistle and. Uh, juggle him, rack up damage. In oh, yeah, so Olimar is light. So we, you kill him early. We edge guard with back here. So it's not a a big problem anymore. Yeah, thanks to our speed and our our disjointed hitboxes. And uh, Parana plant. Uh, I don't know if it's slider advantage, but I mean that's very good this matchup. So I guess it, I'll say advantage. Blaine is just a gimmick. It's um, uh, slow, so I mean you need to approach, but it it's easy to just wait the opportunity and just approach and oh now you're in mid range and you can pressure him with four air, near out range plant pressure, shoot pressure, and for edge guarding, uh, I think I mean, I don't if, I don't I, I don't know if counter work because he travels kind of fast, but just down air him and. And this big head is above the box, so it's yeah, easy to two frame, easy to down air spike. Uh, I think yeah, bad bad advantage, so we can rack up damage when you you hit plant. So yeah, it's gonna be very ass advantage. As a plant, just, just don't have a good neutral in general. So like, if you the matchup of plant, I I think you just yeah, you just slap plant. <laughs> yeah, you, you just beat plant. So. Pit, uh, let's see, pit, yeah, pit are slight advantage. Uh, pit has a good kill against Lucina. He has a projectile to person approach. He has some good idols to anti air, but you know, pit in general is an honest character. So, <laughs> and yeah, pit has a bit of range, but not enough to compete with Lucina. So, 
once it was not as close to gap again for air near you out range pit you space pit and and he's kind of floaty he has multi jump though but it is re relatively easy to combo and keeping the advantage because of the obvious floatiness and his recovery is exploitable yeah again back air down air so yeah it's not pit is easy to kill and for him it's it's harder to kill you know because safety just pit don't have a good kill setup I think I mean I think yeah down tilt up air but I think it's, it's DI dependent or it's nation but, yeah but you don't supposed to get hit by down tilt in a way because you you're spacing out um, pit but, yeah pit that's the advantage <laughs> My gun trainer who is an interesting case. I'll say uh I think it's even. I mean I think I think yeah, Pokemon Trainer is one of the characters in the Academy game with the most even matchup because just the way Pokemon Trainer is like um the weakness of one Pokemon is uh is uh, covered by the advantage of an of the strength of the another Pokemon with the true Pokemon and well, well, um Against Squirrel, you you outrange Squirrel, but Squirrel if she get if Squirrel get in, she, he can uh, combo with Sina, like zero to sixty percent. Uh, against with Ivysaur, Ivysaur just can't lose Sina, so for Sina approach and Charizard, Charizard is easy to combo with Lucina and to to just rack up damage and uh, easy to I mean Charizard has a bad advantage, so easy to rack up damage. But you have the speed, so it's a real like even matchup. Like Lucina have some uh, strength against uh, a Pokemon, but this Pokemon has also good uh, strength against Lucina. So it's a really like yin and yang uh, <laughs> matchup. It's really like a perfect even matchup, I think. Like it's probably the most even matchup of Lucina. Uh, the best player usually win. Yeah, so yeah, that's gonna be. This for Pokemon Trainer. Uh, I did the. I don't know, I don't did the. The Bellman. So Bellman is another uh, 45 65. Probably more more like even, but I will put in slight advantage because I'm not very good against them. And but I mean, they are. They, are, they have projectile Bellmans, but they also have this one in bugs. And that's really good against Lucina. Because even if you uh, have both projectile, if you try to space your sword, you can just like F tail or four air you or black air you. <laughs> I'll train you anyway, so it's really hard to get in against Bellman. Uh, harder than the general zone in this game. Uh, but if you can get the hit, uh, you can uh, abuse the bad advantage of the Bellman, combo him, rack up damage, and edge guard. Edge guarding is not that easy because of the tether, but you can you can throw a good back air, down air, or maybe near fair. At the, the, the right timing, you can just rob the stock at zero because the recovery are, are really, really bad. So that's the the good part in this matchup. But I think in general it's hard, harder for Lucina, and I think uh, Belmont will win. Yeah, like just just watch this set, uh, Mystery against Riddle in the Gumball 2019, and you're gonna see how much Lucina struggles in this matchup. <laughs> uh. Next is Ridley. Ridley. Uh, honestly, I'll say 55, 45. Um, and Ridley, uh, you're like, oh, what? Why? Why is not in in uh, advantage? But uh, yes, Ridley is a big character in his life for a big character. Like, uh, so this I can easily combo and kill Ridley. But the, f the but uh, Ridley. I mean, personally, I feel Ridley really hard. I mean, it's hard for me. I mean, I mean, probably this matchup is hard because Ridley has a good speed. He has good projectile with the fireball to force an approach, and he's not that laggy. Uh, also, he has good range with F tilt, nair, four air, down tilt, all oh, down tilt. <gasps> down tilt is so good. He can grab combo. He can edge guard with his good range. Uh, and for recovery, it's kind of tricky because you need to be ready of the two options. Like if he side B. Uh, you can try to back here, but don't get grabbed before. And if you do a up B, you need to be quick enough to uh, counter because it's so disjointed that I don't, I don't think you can down here, so you really need to counter. But once you counter, it is 
He's super dead, really, but yeah, you, you can edge guard him, but it's a bit tricky. It's a bit of a gamble, I would say. Uh, and neutral is a bit hard because Ridley is quick, has a projectile, good range, so it's it's not e that easy to uh, to space against Ridley. So, but once you hit Ridley, you just combo him, rack of damage. I uh, really don't have a good uh, damage state. So yeah, and and, and because he's, he's re relatively light for uh, for I mean, he's light for a big uh, big body character or for even weight, so you can kill him surprisingly early with like a random move. <laughs> yeah. And Rob, uh, Rob, so, yeah, it's a lot of advantage. So Rob, a good zoner with the laser, the the gyro, um. And he's not that slow for a zoner or for heavyweight because yeah he is also a heavyweight. Uh, once you close the gap, uh, so yeah, so, um, so Rob is a as good uh, blocking tool. <laughs> Down tilts. Uh, I mean there's there's the rented, but once you you avoid the projectile, you can try to pressure him. Uh, you need to be patient, of course, uh, to avoid projectiles in the gyro setup. Well, after yeah, mid range you can space him out with spoiler there, uh, combo him. Uh, he, he has yeah, I I don't know. I mean, he has a relatively good advantage because of Nair, who is disrupted, and uh, like the up his up B because he can like kind of flow like Peach, but not not on, not on, on place. But yeah, he, he has a good advantage. So we, we can rack up damage and combo, but not that much compared to other character. And it's hard to edge guard because of all his mix up and his uh, really, really good recovery in terms of uh, distance. And also, he can throw uh, gyro, he can attack off the B, he can, uh, can laser. So, yeah, hard to edge guard. Uh, can be hard to keep because of his weight. But I think Lucina wins when she's. Um, I, 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 not, not in the face of Pro because of that, too, but. When when you say uh, play the mid range game, it's hard for Rob to like throw a gyro, throw a laser, or you no, know, like you cannot you cannot throw a projectile uh, uh, in the safe way, and you cannot uh, down tilt or attack with a ground move because at least has a different hitbox. So yeah, I think I think it's slight slight advantage, but I think it's almost even. So I can put Rob here, for one of the. Hardest uh, slight advantage uh, here. Also, yeah, Pichu is also it's hard. I mean, he's almost even. I think Pichu. Yeah. Uh, next, Robin. Robin. Uh, yeah, slight slight advantage. So Robin. Uh, I mean, the zoner, not the best zoner. Uh, the thing he we, we want to uh, like run up shield. Shielding is good against uh, his projectile. And, once we are uh, we have closed the gap, we can uh, uh, space with four air and air, and I mean cool. Uh, we uh, we need to uh, need to be aware of the the thunder sword, like the whatever it's called. <laughs> like when when the the, the sword is uh, in thunder mode, uh, it has a good range and a good uh, knockback and uh, damage output. So uh, yeah, caution. But yeah, once uh, once we win the mid range, uh, it's unsafe to Robin to throw projectile. Don't have the range in general to compete, and we can just pressure Robin combo. Uh, he's kind of floaty, so we, we can abuse him in his advantage, and we can edge guard him with down air, back air, but just uh, avoid before the projectile if he throw projectiles. So yeah, uh, Rosanna Luma advantage. Uh, so when Rosanna ha have Luma, it's really hard to, uh, I mean, to hit Rosa because of Luma, who is like a, a big wall, uh, big wall. But the, the key is just to like uh, throw and uh, hit Luma and like uh, just throw Luma in tumble or off stage. I think one of the best moves to do it is like I think FT or dash tag. I think it's like it's probably the, it's probably the, the only matchup when uh, when dash tag is a useful move. <laughs> when dash tag is good to just throw Luma out and yes, you're gonna be punished by Rosalina, but now 
Rose Island doesn't have uh, Luma and it's way way easy to just uh, run up to her and pressure pressure and pressure again with our sword and uh, Rosanna, she's not that fast. She don't have a lot of range. She's tall. She get com she get comboed. She get. Uh, I mean, we rack up damage in the in the advantage. We edge guard. Rosanna was back here and down here. So the 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 hard part is Luma. But when Luma is gone, it's it's like a seventy thirty matchup, easy. So just uh, kill Luma first, and then it's a piece of cake. <laughs> And uh, Roy, Roy, uh, roughly uh, at the same level of Chrome. So Roy, it may be, uh, maybe a bit harder because his recovery doesn't suck as much as uh, Chrome, but you can still counter and try to hit him if they trade with the up B. Uh, but yeah, he, Roy has good speed, has very, very good combo, and can kill early with uh, I mean side B back jab back air. Uh, but if 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 the um, I mean again, Roy is hard to whip finish. So I mean, like, I think no, I think this game, yeah. I don't know, Roy, Roy, Roy is even what what I'm saying. Roy, yeah, Chrome is slight advantage because of the recovery, but Roy is even because Roy is hard to edge guard. It hard, uh, good speed, good range, but uh, it's not. We're not losing because. Uh, if Roy space his his sword, well, it's sour spot, so it uh, doesn't do a lot, doesn't do a lot against us, and uh, and so yeah, so we so um, Roy needs to re uh, be close to approach Lucina real close to have the the ilt, but Lucina can just try to outspace this part of the sword of Roy and just space her sword at max range and have the full potential of her sword, and uh, where uh, Roy if he if touch Lucina with the the tip is gonna be like the the wet noodle uh, it box the weak the 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 wicked box. So, but yeah, it's hard because yeah, Roy is really good speed, hard to finish, uh, hard. I mean, can can I? Um, I mean, not as easy to edge guard as Chrome, but can be sometimes tricky to edge guard. But if you can just uh, read the option of Roy, like counter or. Try to swing in his face before the B or down air. Yeah, you can kill him early. So yeah, I'll say even, even yeah, because of the recovery. Yeah. Even. Well, it, well it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. Uh, Sephiroth, even. Uh, Sephiroth, really good. I mean, has a big sword, <laughs> so outrange is not easily. Force not approach with side B and uh, neutral B, but. Uh, Yes, he has big sword, but when Lucina is in her, it is in his face. Uh, he doesn't really have a good, uh, good friend ally unless with Jaw or Nair on a shield. Uh, but Lucina just need to like pity mid range and space her sword, and it's gonna be okay. And when when we hit Sephiroth, that can be hard to hit Sephiroth, but when we did, when when, when we do, we uh, we can like Nair chain combo Sephiroth. Uh, Sephiroth doesn't have a good advantage because he's he's uh, relatively he's but not big but he's tall. Uh, yeah, he's tall. Uh, just be the down and punish. So yeah, really tall and, and I mean not fluid but tall and uh, light. So a few a few good interaction uh, in juggle and in advantage and he's like a percent. Uh, recovery, yeah, it, it's I would say it's hard to edge guard, but if you can have the read. Uh, on what he do, uh, we can get like we can we can give him a kill relatively early. Uh, I've done that multiple times. Uh, there will be the the auto slash. You can uh, you can uh, counter it uh, off stage, uh, but not like but like, not uh, and uh, at the at the edge. And for the the sh the, the quick the quick uh, the quick slash the quick up B, uh, it's more like a fox or falco side B. So again, it's hard to rely, but you need to read and throw a forward air or back air, or down air, and you kill him. So yeah, it's it's hard because of the range, the the big range of Sephiroth, but uh, it's even because of the the recovery department and the the advantage of Lucina against uh, Sephiroth. Uh, Samus, Samus, gonna be in. 
Slight advantage. So he's a so Samus, a very classic zoner, but a good zoner. Uh, like most of the zoners in this matchup chart, uh, be patient, uh, avoid the projectile, and when you're uh, in mid range, you can just pressure Samus with 4 air and air, shield uh, pressure. And um, Samus is a bit um, tall and floaty, so we can combo and keep um, Samus in the advantage. Uh, it's tricky to edge guard, but sometimes you can you can have some uh, early early kills uh, when edge guard edge, edge guarding. So yeah, Samus is going to be inside advantage. Uh, Sheik, Sheik is one of these character that I put in. Uh, hard, hard for this but kind of even, so a bit the same, um, the same uh, archetype of, uh, I mean, same archetype uh, of Diddy Kong and uh, Greninja. Like it kind of, I mean, you know, he's like a Shiki is like a ninja. Uh, he, he just want to use his her speed and projectile to force an approach, and then we finish. So. Uh, with this now you want to be very safe, retreat uh, rich Arioles, and because it's here we 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 are trained uh, Sheik with our, our sword because it's disjointed, and uh, Sheik uh, is light. So if we if we are, we're safe and we just uh, chill the damage with uh, some hits with a sword, uh, we can kill uh, Sheik early with a back air or down tilt. Down tilt down smash is really good. Or yeah, down, down air uh, for two framing her her hot beat. Uh, but if it, but if we are reckless with uh, our Ariels, she easily can whip finish and deal a ton of damage with her crazy combo and even kill kill around one hundred percent with her kill setup because she has kill setups. So yeah, she does doesn't she doesn't struggle that much to kill. So we really need to play uh, defensively and safely. But if you if we do do so. It's probably even. Well, yeah, we need to work a little bit harder than uh, Sheik. But the the advantage of Usnao is the disjointed hitbox and the kill power. Again, yeah, compared to Sheik. So yeah, powerful Usnao, but even, kind of even. Uh, she, uh, she, Shulk, you know, but in even. So Shulk, big sword, but like Sephiroth, uh, sluggish from data um, cl up close. So uh, we need uh, run up shield is, re is very good. Uh, Perry is even better. So we need just to close the gap and put pressure at our distance. <laughs> uh, and yeah, pressure sh sh Shulk anti air is, is very important against him. And I mean, Zavantis can be tricky because of the shield art monado or the you know the art in general. So, but we, but, but we can just try to uh, rack up damage against Shulk, and uh, one 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 of the the, the advantage of Lucian this matchup is the recovery. Uh, we can. It's hard to edge guard Lucina with Shulk. I mean, if 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 Shulk has uh, the the smash art, he can just like two frame forty and kill Lucina very early, or he can just go and jump Art Monado and swing really deep. But if you don't do that, uh, we can recover and uh, when when um, Shulk into a B, we can just counter or uh, down air and he's dead. So that helps. So I can Shulk, patience, uh, wrap shield, anti air, close the gap, and then you can. Uh, it, it then it's your turn to uh, pressure him. And yeah, just play. Be smart against the the, the different arts. Uh, against some arts, you 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 want to be more defensive, and other arts more aggressive. Oh yeah, just uh, you need to to have a special focus um, for the the arts. Uh, snake, snake is an I was snake. I would like to put him in the slight advantage, but uh, I think it really depends on the snake players. I will say either for this but kind of even because the. The both characters can abuse weaknesses of each other. Uh, Snake can just camp, and Lucina doesn't like to approach, but she needs in this matchup. So Snake just forced Lucina to approach. But if Lucina uh, know the matchup well, or she's just patient, it's hard to for uh, for Snake to 
to uh, rack up damage with grenade or like com grenade combo. And when Usna is uh, in mid range, she can like punish Snake to pull out grenade or just pressure him with Ariels. Um, also, oh, the advantage of Snake is very really bad against uh, Usna. She cannot juggle uh, him for a lot, of, a lot of percentage. She can edge guards back here, down here. So yeah, once Lucina win neutral is really hard for Snake, but the neutral is easier for Snake. So uh, I mean Snake is is AV, but we can uh, kill early with the edge guarding phase. And if we if we uh, don't get grabbed or like just don't get up tilt, like if we don't like uh, mindlessly uh, fall on Snake, we're not supposed to 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 uh, die early. But Nikita is not that that a problem in edge guarding. Because the thing, the, the trick against the Nikita, the missile, uh, you want to just uh, swat, I mean, just swing the swing the sword, just just for air the missile, and it's gonna like gonna be fine. It's not gonna explode, and just gonna, it's just gonna deactivate the boss for a few frames. So after you can up B safely, and like if you're if you have your all your resource and you're smart in, your, in the way you recover, you should not get gained by uh, Nikita, like never. Well, maybe maybe I get a good snake, but yeah. In general, I would say even, but easier for Lucina because of uh, her, her good advantage and the bad advantage of snake. And neutral is not that difficult if you're patient, so yeah. Easier, but kind of even. Uh, Sonic is gonna be an even, uh, or maybe I mean, uh, no, no. So Sonic, I thought for a few, uh, I mean for uh, for a time that it was. Even but hard for Lucina. I mean, it, it, it's still, I think it's still hard for Lucina because Sonic is already a pain in the butt to fight against because he's campy and he's very lame to play against a Sonic player in general. But um, Lucina has the has the the uh, the privilege to have the rotate inbox. So if Sonic is charging his pin charge. The what I learned is you, you can just pivot cancel uh, F tilt and it's gonna uh, trade or you're gonna win. You can side B side B is, uh, has a weird property who beats the 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 I mean the spin charge the side B. So so you can so if the if the Sonic just run at you with the spin charge you can just side B and you're gonna win because there's a lot of active frame and uh, multi hit move. Uh, you can also just shield and try to pin it off shield. Uh, Sonic is, is a ra relatively light, don't have a good range. So I think once once uh, Sonic is above you after a, a spin dash, like if you don't get spin dash, you, you can abuse the disadvantage of Sonic. Uh, you're gonna win. And also for the recovery, you can uh, try to back here or down here the spring jump. So I I mean I think it's maybe advantage for Lucina but for the moment I will put in even because I think uh, Sonic is good to uh, whip finish uh, Lucina if she uh, mindlessly uh, throw for air or near. So it's the thing he, the trick here is to be patient and don't uh, don't throw a move like uh, on, uh, on uh, with no intention you know just be safe and stay grounded. Don't need like why? Why do you want to for there if the sun is like here? You know, <laughs> yeah. Be patient and don't throw move randomly. <sighs> ah, almost, almost there. <laughs> I I will lo lose my voice um, soon. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> so Steve is in slight advantage because it's a weird zoner, but I don't feel it's a good zoner because. The, I mean, he has a predator with his mind card, but if you're far enough, it's you're gonna react. I mean, offline you react, <laughs> and I mean you can just close the gap and just don't don't uh, run uh, without a plan against Steve because you're gonna get hit and you're gonna be frustrated, and that's that's well, that, that's what Steve wants. So just uh, be patient, and uh, when you're when you're in mid range, you can just uh, apply pressure with forty air and air. And just outrange uh, Steve. Uh, you can combo Steve and Steve. I mean, has a decent. Yeah, I mean, Steve has a good advantage, a, a good advantage with the blocks and the down air. So we cannot rack up a lot of damage in, in advantage. 
but still you outrange him he's light and I think he's fluey yes so you know, we can rock we can rock up damage in advantage and edge guard him with uh, back air back air is really good because it, it beats up B and it it destroys the mind card so it's really good for edge guarding uh, Steve who likes to like edge guard uh, he likes to recover uh, horizontally well yeah and also Steve is slow so yeah Steve slow doesn't have a good, a good range so you still can just uh, out my out uh, I mean outspeed him outrange and just uh, have a ha, ha, have a good advantage state uh, tone link um, is going to be slight advantage uh, it's annoying because projectile but it's not a good advantage uh, good mobility so you avoid projectile and then you can just pressure um, tone link at mid range with your, with your sword uh, tone link uh, middle weight uh, light middle weight uh, floaty, so easy to find uh, easy. Uh, you can rack up damage and juggle him, but be aware of the down air. And you also edge guard him and counter the, the up B or try to uh, hit the terror before it, re it reaches the ledge. So, yeah, not that difficult. Just need to be patient and don't run into, don't, don't run into his projectile, and especially especially his uh, bomb because he can bomb and four air kill combo you, kill confirm, I mean. So yeah, be patient and you're gonna you're gonna win. Be patient, uh, close the gap and outrange him. Villager is like a better <laughs> Isabel, so but we still uh, really beat hard this character. He's slow. His only is not that great against Lucina, but it's better because but now the load rocket can travel <laughs> and yeah. So, but we can destroy the little rocket with our with our, with our tilts or our arrows. It's not that good. For your back here, yeah, you, you ju just drop shield, stay grounded, and the tree is more a gimmick. So, I mean, I mean, in, in, in edge guarding, it can be deadly for this other tree, but you need to set up. Uh, but in general, you're just gonna close the gap with a bit of patience, and then you can pressure with your sword because the villager doesn't have good range. Uh, pressure him, they can uh, juggle him, keep uh, Vajran's advantage because he's floaty, don't have great box for landing, and for recovery, just uh, back here and he's dead. Like, yeah, you just you, we just beat this character. Wario, I think with a nerf, it's now. Uh, I mean, I, I don't need. I think. Wario, I don't know. Before the, I mean, before the nerf it was even. I think now it's still even, but maybe easier for Lucina because we have good mobility. We have we outrange Wario, but Wario is really good at bait and finish and just uh, yeah, so, uh, we finish bait and finish and combo you zero to sixty or like uh, zero to dead uh, near waft or pair waft so waft combo. So the the combat factor is still here. Uh, but so, so Lucina needs to be to play uh, very safely, retreating retreat Orioles, uh, and yeah, just don't overextend, and don't uh, don't uh, throw, uh, don't be reckless in your Orioles because you're gonna get a whiff finish, and uh, this uh, gonna get a lot of. I mean, Lucina is gonna have a lot of a uh, lot of percentage, or she might uh, die. <laughs> And also you can edge guard, you can edge guard Wario kind of, I mean, not easily because you have good mix-ups, but you can down air uh, kind of the up B, but if you go high with the bike, you can try to chase him with up air or just catch his landing. And as I say, Wario doesn't, doesn't have a good range, so you can just trade with him easily or just trade, straight out beat him. So yeah, just don't, just play safe and play, uh, especially uh, when he has waft and don't get waft and you're gonna be okay. But yeah, patience and good spacing, and you're gonna win. Uh, with a trainer, I don't fight a lot of with trainer, but for my from my little experience, I would say it's side advantage. Weird zoner, uh, close the gap. Uh, I mean, you still have good mobility. Uh, avoid the projectile, close the gap. Pressure uh, with a trainer when you're in mid range and edge guard him. Uh, I don't have a lot to say more because it's. it's 
it's a, it's a very basic game plan for listening against all the zoners in this game. So yeah, it's pressure uh, with the trainer in space in uh, space him in the uh, in the uh, mid range, and when you, when you hit him, combo him, uh, you can juggle, uh, rocket person, and in it. I mean, it, it's kind of hard to edge guard him because there's a weird. They, I feel the edge guard is kind of destroyed of the 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 his his up B. But you can. I mean, Kari is not very really good. The good they can do that, but you can down air or just try to back air him if he's on the side. So yeah, you can edge guard his character. Uh, yeah, but the deep breathing can be dangerous. So yeah, when is what? Well, you always want to have have some pressure f f f to to stop uh, with your turn to get the deep breathing and if he has deep breathing, just be very really careful and try like play lane, be safe and camp the camp the camp the the like the kind of limit, <laughs> you know the the the, the deep breathing stuff. Wolf, it, oh, well, I don't know. Wolf, I feel it's even or other uh, Lucina wins. But I really don't know. Like, I mean, Wolf is easier than Falco. I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, Falco is annoying, but I know Falco lost to Lucina, but I, f I don't know. I feel. Oh my god, I don't know. I feel. Uh, I think we beat Wolf. I mean, I can see it being even, but for a moment I will say I'll put him in a even one of a side, I mean side advantage. I think it's one of the hard, one of the harder uh, side advantage. But I put side advantage because yes, he has blast through for force approach, but it's kind of easy to to read or just you no. Know, he's blast. He, if you do a blast through the shield, or if you're cool enough, you can jump over it. So it's not a big deal. It's not. It's straight. It's straightening, and it's it do something, but it's not like a real zoner, you know. It's just to force something, but you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be like super impatient. Just gonna wait the blaster and avoid shield it, and once you're in mid range, you can just uh, out range wolf with four air and air, and he's a he's mid weight faster, so we can combo him easily, keeping that in advantage. And for a recovery can be tricky, but if you can read the side B, just counter and it's dead. Uh, and if you up B again, counter or down and it's dead. So it, it can be uh, it's a bit of a gamble again for the recovery, but if you guess right, he's dead. And in general, I feel neutral advantage is good because of the range and the speed. Because Wolf will have good air speed but, and a good dash, but in general, I feel it's not a better speed in, in the. Um, a, 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 good, a good range against a good good, good range against the wolf because the disjointed move so yeah I will put in slight advantage but not the big slight advantage uh, Yoshi I don't like Yoshi but no it's a slight advantage because I mean the projectiles are good I mean, eggs eggs are good but again be patient and safe and don't 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 get it don't gonna get uh, hit by them and if Yoshi approach for whatever reason just uh, outrange him with your sword and like and don't yeah right, basically just swing and hit him because you're uh, you have just hit box outrange him uh, avoid eggs and it, it's hard to, to edge guard him so more so uh, maybe try more to uh, let's trap and if the if you double jump back to the stage, just finish with S match or back air. Uh, yeah, I mean advantage. I mean the advantage is also hard. I mean the advantage of Yoshi is good because the double jump and the down B, nair, down air, all, all his mix up to be reversed. So I think the just be patient. Don't get hit and because yeah, just don't get hit. Play safe. Be defensive and just outrange Yoshi. And is is a fully and Avis, so it's hard to kill. But uh, but uh, at a time, uh, he's gonna be at really at a kill percent for like a back air, and he's gonna dead or he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna die or uh, a smash or smash. Just find the, find the find the opportunity to strike and uh, kill him. 
Uh, speaking of patience, Youngling is a, also an even matchup, uh, a, a slight but a harder slight, a harder slight advantage. He has really good projectiles, uh, low cooldown, so we really need to be patient and avoid correctly the projectile because if you get hit by his projectiles, he can combo and uh, I can present kill us, like kill combo, kill confirm. So be patient, avoid projectiles, and when you're in the uh, mid range, you can just uh, outrange young link, pressure, and uh, space with four air. Uh, you can also edge guard him quite easily. Uh, he's up B with uh, um, counter and uh, down air. And for the bomb recovery, you can just back here also, or just repeat the counter and the uh, down air. And an advantage it can be tricky because of the down air, but uh, we have in general we have more range and you know up air, up air back here. Like the fact we have good speed and good range helps a lot in this matchup. If you if you're patient, if you're good, if you're patient in the game and in the match, uh, it's gonna be a side advantage. Uh, Zelda, side advantage. Again, another zoner, uh, kind of zoner tribal like Pac-Man, but worse, because Phantom, you can just uh, just respect the Phantom, and when uh, you're mid-range, you can space out Zelda with four air and Nair, and she stalls, we can combo and uh, uh, juggle her, but bait and finish the neutral B, Nero's love, and because this this shit can just combo break or no, she has an invisibility. So yeah, don't be aware. Be aware of the neutral B, and bait, bait and finish this. So yeah, you can you, you can rack up damage on Zella because of her of her disadvantage state and her like her she's tall, tall and floaty. So that's good for Lucina. And for recovery, it can be hard, but you can try to two frame with down air. Or if you want to be safe, just let's wrap her. Well, yeah, like most of the zoner is gonna be slight advantage for these reasons. Hey, last but not least, I think it's still a bad matchup for us. I'll say, uh, I don't know where, I don't, I don't know if she's like the easier slide advantage or the second worst. But probably, uh, probably uh, I'll say for a moment, yeah. Our, our second worst matchup is ZSS, Zorstu Samus. Um, she has good stool to beat Lucina, she has good speed, she has better range with Zair, side B, uh, the neutral B. Uh, so it's hard for Lucina to space because of her, of her speed, and you can, and also she can just uh, anti air with four air, uh, there, and she outrange and just can uh, play uh, the play a run away. Uh, she can, yeah, she can just like run away and uh, she, Zorstu can always be out of uh, out of our range, but she can still apply pressure with her range, who is better than our range. <laughs> No, like, uh, she like she can hit you with there, but you can't you cannot hit Jesus with four air, so it's, it's hard to hit her. But if you can, uh, if you can, uh, but but Lucina has good mobility, so if you can, uh, um, not avoid but just maneuvering uh, right, like has the has good movement and good uh, movement decision, you can close the gap and just try to hit where she's gonna be. Uh, and yeah, then you can rack up damage. Uh, it's hard to combo because of flip jump and just uh, she's light, but she's tall. She's tall. She's tall, light, and fast fighter. So it, I mean, you can combo her and the advantage is okay, but you need to read the flip jump. So yeah, it's hard to rack up damage, and for recovery also because it's hard to, to it's hard to reach guard zero Samus. Because of the, I mean, she can up B, she can flip jump, she can zair, uh, hard to ledge trap, so it's really hard to rack up damage in general. And I mean, not to kill because she's light, so you can just find a random, I mean, not a random, but you can just uh, anti air with a back air or really jump with a back air and she's dead. But it's hard to just neutral, the neutral is hard and hard to just rack up damage against her, where she can just hit you, like chip, chip up with the mage and. Uh, she can, she, can uh, she has some combo also, and she has good kill power with uh, up BRF shield, uh, down smash up B, back air, bury, right? flip flip uh, jump bury up B, like, 
She has more kill power. Uh, she has more opportunity to kill you and to uh, to um, rack up damage than Lucina, I will say. So yeah, that's why she's a bad matchup and she's a slight advantage. Uh, slight slight advantage. Oh yeah, it's it's hard. It's doable, but it's hard. It's hard, Lucina. I can tell. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's gonna be for my matchup chart. Uh, my Lucina matchup chart. Um, um, so I hope you all enjoy and. Uh, if you like my content or you want more video like like these, uh, just uh, write down in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and like the video. See you soon.